But what if I told you that mushrooms were actually the number one recalled food product of 2022? Now, I'm never one to spread mycophobia, but when I saw this article uh, come across my newsfeed, I thought, well, I definitely have to talk about it. Now, it's not all mushrooms. The mushroom in question here is enoki, also known as Flamulina volutipes, which is an awesome gourmet mushroom, actually. Um, and I'm sure you know it. I'm sure you recognize it. This is one right here with the long, thin stem and the tiny little caps. This uh, this over here is not enoki, so um, they, they should have put a picture of just enoki because I don't want to give a bad name to all mushrooms. I don't want to give a bad name to any mushrooms. But again, enoki mushroom is the most recalled food of the year in 2022. Now, it says in 2022 alone, enoki mushrooms have been at the center of 11 listeria-related recalls. Now, listeria is pretty bad, right? It makes people really sick. And, um, you know, if you ate fresh mushrooms that weren't cooked, that had listeria, you would probably get really sick. And you might be wondering, like, what's causing all of this? Why is enoki mushroom the most recalled food of 2022? Well, picture these mushrooms, right? Picture them in cool, damp environments. And then picture them being put in a little plastic bag for a couple weeks, right? And those are just ideal conditions for certain bacterial growth. So it can happen, and it's the same for anything that's been packaged like this. Like, Listeria has had outbreaks for deli meat, which again is like wet and in a package. Uh, for cheese, for other fresh packaged salads, uh, there's even been Listeria outbreaks in ice cream, right? Which you wouldn't cook, and same thing with deli meat, you wouldn't cook. So, I mean, some people do cook it, but you might eat it without cooking it, which is why um, listeria might be an issue there. But the good news is listeria is usually killed by cooking. So it's really the, the raw foods that are the most troublesome. Now, are people eating enoki mushrooms raw? I don't, right? But I'm sure, uh, I think probably some people do. Maybe they put them in their salads or something like that. So I do want to emphasize again, this definitely isn't a mushroom problem. And it's not even really an enoki problem, but it does appear that enoki mushrooms are having a bad year but there is some good news okay there's a silver lining in all this and maybe you know according to consumer reports you shouldn't be buying enoki mushrooms from the grocery store right now but what if you grew them yourself now enoki mushrooms luckily are one of those mushrooms that are actually pretty easy to grow i've done it myself it's really satisfying it's really cool you can grow enoki mushrooms at home it's not as common to find an enoki mushroom grow kit. Uh, in fact, I don't know if I've ever seen one, but you can grow them using a lot of the home cultivation methods that are quite accessible, right? So I just want to show you some pictures here. Um, in my opinion, actually, homegrown enoki are very, uh, they're a lot different from the ones you get at the grocery store. You can grow them a lot bigger. Uh, they're a lot tastier. They're obviously a lot fresher. And they look a lot different. So this is one picture here of some enoki mushrooms. Much bigger caps than you might typically see at the grocery store and much thicker stems as well. But they grow, I mean, super prolifically. There's this, you can see this one block. It's just absolutely covered in enoki mushrooms. You get a huge mass of fruiting body out of a single block. This was another method where it's grown in a bottle. Uh, we actually have a video on this if you want to watch it um, and kind of learn how to do that. But you can see the enoki mushrooms here just growing straight up. And you can just basically twist that whole thing off. We ended up making something called enoki mushroom pancakes out of this, which again, you can see on YouTube. It was very satisfying, very cool to eat, very delicious. Here's another one. You can see this is my hand here holding it. And look how flipping big that, I mean, this one here has got to be, I don't know, is that 14 inches long enoki mushroom? You're definitely not going to find that at the grocery store. So very, very cool. If you get a chance to grow an oki at home, I highly recommend it. Um, again, you're not probably likely gonna find a kit, but you can get some spawn and grow it one of the, using one of the me methods that you might grow any other type of uh, wood-loving gourmet mushroom. Now, enoki is cool because it's not just a cool-looking mushroom that's fun to grow, and it's not just a gourmet mushroom that's tasty and you want to put it in your dinner, but it's also a pretty powerful functional mushroom as well. 
but it doesn't get uh, very much attention as a functional mushroom. Like you're not going to see it in supplements. I don't think I've ever seen it in supplements. You're not going to find it in a mushroom coffee or anything like that, but it is a pretty powerful functional mushroom. And here's why. It contains these protein-bound polysaccharides known as flamulin and proflamin. Now, these have been extracted and they have been researched for a number of different health benefits. Now, proflamin, why that's cool is because it is orders of magnitude lighter than most other beta-glucans that are found in mushrooms. Beta-glucans are polysaccharides that are responsible for the, a lot of immunosupporting benefits of mushrooms, but proflamin is a lot lighter and that's because it contains more protein than sugar. So it's basically a different shape of molecule and that means it can act as a much more efficient immune system modulator. So what are some of the other potential benefits of enoki? What has it been studied for? Well, one thing that has been studied for is actually allergies, which is really interesting and not just like seasonal allergies, but it's actually been studied for food allergies. So here's a study I was talking about. It's uh, oral administration of an edible mushroom derived protein inhibits the development of food allergic reactions in mice. So again, this is cool because it's not just seasonal allergies, it's actually food allergies, which is obviously, you know, a big deal. What if a mushroom could help with food allergies? Could it? Possibly. I don't know. But basically in this study, mice with an egg allergy were treated with an extract from enoki, and they were also given an allergen called, well, it's called ovalbumin. I don't know if you, how you actually pronounce it, but basically it's an egg protein, right? And eggs are a really common food allergy. So the mice were given this, but they were also giving, they were also given the extract of enoki. And they found that the, the mice that had the enoki extract had reduced anaphylaxis like symptoms and decreased levels of plasma histamine during subsequent oral challenges. So basically they had lesser allergic reactions because of the enoki extract. Now again, this is mice, it's not people, so you can't really just translate that, but still pretty interesting potential that this mushroom might have for allergies. Now, enoki mushrooms has also been studied for its potential anti-cancer benefits, which is absolutely amazing. But the study that was done um, wasn't necessarily where they just treated a bunch of cancer patients with enoki to see what would happen. Instead, what was done was there was a, a, a large study done on enoki farmers and they were testing the incidences or the rate of cancer in certain populations. So you can see this graphic here, comparison of cancer, comparison of cancer death rates among farmers producing flamulan of ludipes, so enoki farmers in Japan, uh, versus the controls. Um, and this was between the years 1972 and 1986. Um, and you can see here the cancer death rates per 100,000. This is a general population. This is the farmers growing enoki. And okay, you say 160 uh, total versus 97 total. Maybe that doesn't seem like that much. That is actually a lot, right? I mean, that is significant. Um, so here are the numbers here. They studied 174,505 inhabitants and found that the cancer death rate for Enoki farmers was significantly lower at 97 per 100,000 compared to 160 per 100,000, which is very, very cool. So, I mean, you know, that's a lot of potential. This article is super old. I don't know how old this study is. Um, and so, so I, like, I don't know if anything's been done since then, which would be something that'd be really cool to check out. Um, but who knows? I mean, mushrooms are amazing. You know, it's, it's not surprising to see this kind of stuff. Uh, but again, the thing you got to keep in mind is this could be a million different things, right? It might not be the enoki. This is just enoki farmers. Maybe they didn't eat any enoki. Maybe enoki farms happen to be, uh, up in the mountains where the air is cleaner and people are outside of the cities, you know, maybe that's the reason why. Um, there could be a million different things. So uh, it's still just kind of interesting, right? Um, mushrooms never cease to amaze me, which is why we have this show, The Mushroom Show. So I'm gonna put the link to this uh, article. This is from HuffPost, but I'll put the link to this article in the description of the video. And I'll also put the link to the research paper on the mice allergies in the description of this video if you wanna check either of those things out.